Now from restaurants to food trucks, these mini cafes on wheels have long been a fan favorite for foodies and their rise in popularity has helped to increase awareness of cuisine from a variety of cultures. Ashton Martinez takes us to University City where the owners of a food truck aren't just cooking up a sense of community, but even inspiring one of their customers to put their story in the spotlight. In Philadelphia at Drexel University, food trucks can be found on almost every corner of the campus. Okay, how about you, sir? You pay cash? Yeah. Yeah. You yeah. need regular one, right? Yep. Gotcha. Thank you. How about you? You need anything? College students. Can I get an iced coffee too? All eager for food that is delicious, authentic, and relatively inexpensive. Can I get a hash brown bacon? Salt, pepper, ketchup? Um, no, thank you. Just plain. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Depending on the truck, the folks inside offer up anything from tacos to cheesesteaks. At Pete's Little Lunchbox, Sandy and her family are not only preparing all types of breakfast and lunch sandwiches. We sell the most like bacon and cheese, sausage and cheese, with hash brown, like put inside the sandwich. They love it. Since 2008, the Cambodian family has also been serving up something humble and earnest that allows them to connect with their customers. They're so friendly, they're so nice, they're honest, you know, that's why you feel you got energy to keep working. I like the job. It's easy like work hard, but it's happy. And they make your, the, the, the clock run fast because like you're just busy, busy, and you turn around, it's almost time to close, clean up and go home. That love for the students and dedication to the job makes it easy for Sandy to show up at the campus six days a week. That one day off, she uses it to stock up on supplies and then get right back to business. The work ethic and devotion doesn't go unnoticed. The food trucks are, have a piece of my heart in them, only because I see a part of my family. Um, you know, I, being a family of Pakistani immigrants, it's, it's, I know how much hustle and grit it takes to come every day and do the same job over and over again. And for them to, you know, easily advance to the new trends and then keeping up with students and strangers, it takes a lot. And I respect them so much that either, no matter what the truck is, I find a piece of myself in them. And that's what really keeps me connected. Recognizing their value, Maida Khan decided to combine her passions of storytelling and filmmaking to shine a light on these immigrant entrepreneurs that continue to shape her life. And anytime I'd be on campus, the first thing I noticed are the trucks. But more than what they're serving, it was more about the people in the truck. Um, I feel like they have such an important story that no one gets to really hear, and I wanted to give them that platform and kind of as a token of gratitude for all that they do. Um, and being, you know, of a family of small businesses and a second generation brown Muslim girl, I know how hard it is to find your light in America especially. Um, and if I can do that for them, that would mean the world to me. Maida is in the process of filming Culture on Wheels for her senior project. The short film is a tribute to show how food brings people together in ways that words cannot. And that when we pour culture and inspiration into our food, it's a subtle form of communication that is understood by all. Astro Martinez, Philly Live. Maida is telling the stories of the owners of eight food trucks around the university in her docu-series project. Again, it's called Culture on Wheels. You can get more details in the Philly Live section of NBC10.com or the NBC10 app.